Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy or publish a custom SSRS report, SQL Server Reporting Services, to Viewpoint, um, Vista by Viewpoint. So Viewpoint is construction software. So here on my screen is a custom SSRS report and what it is is a physical year profit and loss report. And so once you have this report built within your SSRS reporting portal or your reporting manager um, and everything's the way you want it and it's running properly uh, the next step is then to deploy it within viewpoint so uh, after you log into viewpoint you're gonna scroll down to the reports programs folder and I like to um, I like to go to the RP uh, report titles folder. I mean, sorry, I like to go to RP report titles. And then after you click on that and open that up, um, I change it to grid view. And then just scroll down to the bottom, and then you can see um, you know, all the reports that have been added. And so what you do is just come in here, uh, give it the next ID number, give it a name. Um, and I like to give it the name of uh, the report and then SSRS at the end so that you can kind of distinguish uh, between uh, which are uh, which reports are SSRS and not and which aren't. Um, you're going to make the status custom. The application type is SQL Reporting Services. Um, you put it the location that you set up your um, folder for your SSRS uh, reports. Uh, and then that'll default to custom. Make this the actual name of the report within SSRS. So you can see that's my um, uh, the name um, of the report in SSRS. And then uh, just kind of you go through, um, uh, give it a type. Um, the owner um, is just our user account and then um, one thing that's that you need to make sure that you do is then go and assign it a template um, this is very important um, and if you don't do this this it won't show up uh, within the reports for a particular for a user or within their um, dashboard so the one we just entered was Nine, and then yeah. So you can see you have to come in here and give it the the template names, and then make those active. So then, after you've done this, um, the last thing is to go and change the report security. So let's scroll down here. And you go to Viewpoint Administration Programs and then uh, VA Report Security. And then here you just need to make sure you choose the correct company. Uh, for example, this 101 is the uh, test company. So I'm just going to choose one. And then if you just choose the report name, um, it makes it a lot. I'm just going to choose all. And then the report. And then that way you can you can come in and you can pick the actual report itself. Comes a lot easier. Um, oops. Yeah. Okay, so here is the report that we just added. And so refresh the grid and come in here and then basically you just go down and then you make it accessible for 
um, you change the access to allowed for a particular user and then you will apply that. So after you've done that, then you can go to a dashboard and add the report. So what I recommend doing is going to work centers and you can just go ahead and reset your dashboard. Click new, next, make sure you choose the template that you've added it to. So remember we added it to one space report, the one space report template. Click finish. Okay. Now that dashboard is available. We come over here to run the report. You can see that it is available now in my drop down. And then I click OK. And I can run the report. And there's where we put my parameter in and run the report.